the University of Portland women's basketball team back from LA. Their toughest opponent was on the Alaska Airlines flight home. Before the plane took off, Sara Zaragoza spotted the tiny terror on her neighbor's shoulder. Oh my God, what's that? And he like screamed like, oh my God, scorpion. And we're just like, wait, what? And then we hear the woman screaming in the front like, ah, oh, something built me in hand. That woman. She overheard this conversation behind her. Was John uh, Simone's sister-in-law, Annie, Irish. on her way to Portland for a visit. And then she saw it on her skirt. <laughs> so it was like right on her. That's when she, you know, tried to swipe it off herself. And so it got her, stung her on the hand. Um, and yet life stops in a heartbeat for a little bug sometimes. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Annie took this picture of herself with the paramedics. The scorpion stung her right middle finger. It's still swollen and numb, but Annie's doing much better than the scorpion. I just it felt it needed to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a really kind person, but yeah. Yeah, she is. <laughs> but I murdered it. <laughs> yes, they smash it. And then the tail go out of the body, and the body start like running like <laughs> The OSU men's basketball team was also on board and tweeted about the sting operation. You just don't see that very often. It's happened at least once before. In 2011, we met I'm Jeff Ellis, who was sleeve, also stung by a scorpion off. aboard an Alaska Airlines flight. I reached up and looked and said, oh my God, it's a scorpion. The airline offered him a free round trip ticket to make up for it. We don't know if Annie will get the same, but she does have the respect of two Division I basketball teams. I would be like screaming up and down the plane. <laughs> I don't know, I was surprised. Yeah.